And lastly, for my coaching package that costs $5,000, I plan on only onboarding about 10 new clients this year, which will give me approximately 50K this year for a total revenue of 103,025. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make $100,000 in your business this year. And I'm also going to give you a free 2023 business plan template that will make this whole quest of reaching $100,000 in your business super simple, doable, and completely unoverwhelming, guaranteed. With that being said, let's begin. Now, before we're going to get started, I want to make something uber, uber clear. And that is that nobody wants to do a plan for their business, right? Nobody literally wants to do this. I would much rather sit on my couch and watch the Kardashians than do this right now and plan for my business for the next year. But the reason why I do do this diligently every single year for my business is because I know what's going to happen if I don't plan my year in business, right? And what's going to happen if I don't plan my year in business is I won't know how much money I'm going to make and I won't know how I'm going to make it, right? And if I don't know how much money I'm going to make and I don't know how I'm going to make it, what are the chances that I'm going to hit my goals? I'm going to tell you they're zero, right? And that's why it's so important for you to plan your business every single year, because if you don't, you will start operating out of stress and uncertainty. You will not know what, exactly what to focus, where to focus your time, your, your energy, your, your focus on, and you will end up wasting time energy and money. And most chances are at the end of the day, you will have to get back to having a job instead of becoming the successful business owner that you will always meant to be, right? So this is something that is uber, uber important for you to understand. And this is also the main reason why so many businesses actually fail and close down. Think about it. We live in an era where it's never been this easy to start a successful business. All you need is literally like a laptop and an internet connection. How hard can it be? But the fact of the matter is, until this very day, nine out of 10 businesses actually shut down within the first five years in business. And the reason for that is because they refuse to evolve. They continuously uh, keep on working like a beginner or like a freelancer and they never become a true business owner. And what does a true business owner do? If you ever had the chance to work with um, seven and eight figure businesses, I've had a chance of working with businesses who actually make nine figures, meaning over a hundred million dollars a year. And one thing that they do diligently every single year is they plan ahead. That's how they grow. That's how they reach their goals. That's how they make freaking so much money because they plan ahead. They know exactly what they're going to, what is their goal and how they're going to reach it. And that's why they keep on reaching it. Right. And that's exactly what I want for you. And that's the reason why we're here today. The thing about a business plan is that once you have it, um, it's kind of, it's kind of going to feel like there is a weight lifted off your shoulders, especially the plan that we're going to build right now, right? It's not going to be like one of those plans that you see on YouTube, like, who is your audience? No, this is going to be exactly what am I going to do every single day in order to reach my goal, right? Because once I have that plan, I know exactly what I need to do, why I need to do it, and when I need to do that. And in that case, I no longer have to feel stress. Right. I can feel confident because I will know that as long as I'm just going to execute on my plan, the chances of me hitting my goals are about 99 percent. Right. I will hit my goal every single year because I will simply execute on the things that I've decided for myself on my plan. And that's exactly what I want for you. OK, your plan is essentially going to become your boss. Right. That's kind of like the biggest challenge that we have as business owners. Once we don't have a boss, we start becoming lost because we don't know exactly what should we focus on? What should we do? This plan from now on is your boss. And if you're going to follow what your boss says, you're going to hit your goals. You're going to hit the money that you want to make. You're going to hit the lifestyle that you want to make. You will do this as long as you follow this plan. I promise you. OK, cool. Now, before we're going to get started, one quick note. Um, if you are a sort of like a beginner in this and you've never planned before, planning for an entire year might feel a little bit too much for you. And that's OK, because you've never done this before. Right. So if planning for the whole year feels too much for you, plan for six months. Right. And if six months uh, feel too much for you, plan for a quarter, plan for three months. And if three months plan uh, feels like too much time for you, plan for one month. 
That's okay. You can do that as long as you take the time to start planning, right? Remember, successful business owners, the one thing that they do is they always, always plan, okay? Now, if you haven't done this until now, I want you to download my free business plan that I have for you. Simply go to natayaroy.com forward slash 100K. And once you're gonna go there, you will see a page that looks kind of like this. Click on any of the buttons, fill in your name and email, and your plan will be there right on the next page, right? So simply do that. Make sure that you have it. And two more things that you will need to make sure that you have, but we will still figure them out together as we go. So don't worry about that. Is that you need something to sell, right? Um, again, this plan is not for complete beginners who have no idea what they're doing. You do need something to sell, even if you've never sold before, but you have kind of an idea of a service that you want to sell. Let's say that you, you plan on starting your copywriting business this year or your marketing agency this year, your SEO agency this year. You still need to figure out exactly what you're going to sell. We're going to do this together in a second and you need an audience right again this is not for beginners um, and your audience could be your email list which is the best possible thing that you can have if you don't have an email list yet um, start working on building one because it's going to be the number one asset in your business um, if you don't have an email list it can be your social followers your network your LinkedIn network even a Facebook group as long as you have a group of people who know who you are and who are potential buyers for what it is that you're going to sell to them, right? So you will need this, and then all you need to do is, again, go to the page, download the plan, and we can get started. So with that being said, I'm going to dive into my computer, and we're going to get started. So once you're going to open your business plan template, this is how it's going to look like. It's essentially a Google Sheet with two very important tabs. The reason why we have four tabs is because for each of the tabs that I have, I actually have an example tab of everything already filled out for you so that you will know exactly how it should look like, right? So you will have one tab that's called a revenue plan and one tab that's called a promotional calendar. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use this in just a second. So let's start with step number one. And step number one is to set your income goal for the year and write it down right here. In this case, I simply wrote $100,000. That's what this video is about. And one quick note that I have for you here is aim to double your income every year. If last year you made $50,000, aim to make a hundred this year. If last year you already made a hundred thousand dollars, aim to make 200,000 this year. And the reason why we do that is because every single year you want to push yourself. You want to do more because if you won't, you will stagnate right? And let's say that my goal for this year is $500,000. I will probably do a lot more than if my goal would be $250,000, right? And that's the reason why we're doing this. As long as your goal is higher than last year, you will take more actions. And so even if you're not going to end up hitting your goal exactly, you're going to hit close to it right? Because you're going to take more action, it's just inevitable that this is going to happen, right? So step number one is to set your revenue goal and put it right here. Step number two is to list the offers that you want to sell this year. And we're going to be listing them right here under the blue offers section in the business plan, right? Now, I recommend that you will have at least three to five offers. It's a very good place to start for beginners. And let me explain what I mean. Let's say that right now you are just getting started and you only have like one service in mind that you want to sell. You want to sell, let's say, coaching services, a coaching package for whatever it is, $5,000, right? You could also plan to write a short ebook this year. You could also plan to create a course. Even though those things do not exist, we still want to put them inside the business plan because through the business plan, we will be creating them this year, right? Does that make sense to you? Cool. So I want you to have at least three to five offers and uh, let's fill this out as an example to show you uh, what this looks like. I want you to fill the offers and fill the pricing for each offer. Again, this is those two columns here. So let's do it together. The first offer that I plan on selling this year is an ebook. And I want to plan, uh, sell it for about $10, right? That's the first thing that I'm going to do. And I'm actually going to give it a color. You will see in a second why. Now, the second thing that I plan on selling is a small course. 
it's going to be essentially an intro offer. And an intro offer is a small offer that we sell from anywhere between $27 to $100, depending on your niche. But it's something that's relatively cheap. I'm going to sell it for about $27 that would just allow people to become introduced to my brand, right? It's high enough of a price for people to actually be able to um, buy a real product, but it's not high enough and expensive enough for people to be turned off because and not buy it because they don't know me yet, right? So it's a very good um, introduction offer. If buying an ebook for $10 is kind of like going on coffee with someone, buying a small course for 27, it's kind of like going to lunch, right? So I'm also gonna give it a color. In this case, I'm gonna give it like this purplish thing. Now, the next thing that I'm going to sell is I'm going to sell kind of like a mid-tier offer. It's going to be also a digital course. And this course is going to be sold for approximately $500. That's the third thing that I'm going to sell. And again, I'm going to give it a color. It's going to be something like this. You will see why I give this colors in just a second. The next thing I'm going to sell is probably my flagship course. And I'm going to sell this bad boy for $1,000 right? If you have like a truly, truly large elaborated course, um, you could sell it for minimum $1,000. If that coach, if that course actually involves coaching and a live aspect as well, you can sell it as high as three, four, five thousand $5,000 actually. And I'm also going to give it a uh, color. In this case, it's just going to be bright orange. And the last thing that I'm going to be selling is my coaching package, which I'm going to price for $5,000. And I'm also gonna give it a color, this time yellow. Okay, so step two is done. I have my offers that I'm planning on selling this year, even if some of them do not exist yet, that's fine. And I have pricing, how much I'm going to sell each and every one of those offers. Now let's move on to the third step in this plan, which is to plan my projected sales and revenue from each and every one of those products, right? Essentially, I wanna plan exactly how much I wanna sell from each and every one of those products. So for example, how many eBooks I'm gonna sell, how many small courses I wanna sell, et cetera, et cetera. And one thing that's important to understand here is that if you're just getting started, and you haven't done this plan before, at first you will be guesstimating. You will be kind of like guessing slash estimating because you have no idea what your capabilities are and that's fine. Over the years, the more and more you will do this every single year, you will see that you will get better and better at like hitting the mark just because you've done this before so you kind of like know what you can expect, right? So let's see what I have here. I want to sell about 100 ebooks this year and as you can see uh, the business plan already has like a function here that will show me that I plan on making about a thousand dollars from ebooks um, all throughout my year. Then from small courses that um, cost 27 I want to sell approximately 75 of them this year which will make me ap approximately two thousand dollars this year. Then from my course I want to sell approximately 50 of this this year, which will make me approximately 25 grand this year. From my flagship course, I plan on selling approximately 25 of these this year, which will make me again 25 grand. And lastly, for my coaching package that costs $5,000, I plan on only onboarding about 10 new clients this year, which will give me approximately 50K this year for a total revenue of 103,025 something like that um, this year. Now, as you get started, you're probably gonna need to play around with this a little bit until you will hit your goal. So just play around with the numbers, move some stuff around, and you will notice one thing that I did do is that the higher the price of my product, the less of this product I intend to sell. And that's normal just because it's a little bit more difficult to sell a higher price product than it is a small price product. And that's why most chances are the higher your product is priced, the less clients and customers and sales you're actually going to have, which is totally, totally normal. Cool. So step three is done. Let's move on to step number four, which is we're going to plan the marketing for each product. And that's one thing that I, I don't know why, but no business plan is doing. I want to know exactly how I'm going to reach that um, number of sales that I've set for myself by understanding exactly what kind of a promotion I tend on doing. 
right? How many days each promotion is going to have? What kind of promotion? What am I going to use a webinar? Am I going to use like a live event? Am I going to just do like a sales page and send a bunch of emails? So I want to know exactly uh, how many days each promo is going to happen and how many sales am I going to get per promo? And again, at first you will be guesstimating. You will be, but over time it will become clearer and clearer and you will become better at hitting the mark. So let's see what we have here. So first and foremost, I have my ebook and since an ebook is such a low tier offer, I don't actually need a lot in order to sell an ebook. And as you can see, I've already made like a bunch of offers for you on um, marketing methods. So for an ebook, I'm actually just going to send like an email series um, and I'm going to promote this thing for seven days at a time right? Meaning each and every time I'm going to create a promotion, it's going to be a seven days worth of promotion. Um, I might have seven emails. I might have less than that, but over time it's going to take seven days. And I know from past experience that per promo, I'm going to sell approximately 20 units, right? Per promo. So I'm going to, every seven days that I do a promo for this ebook, I'm going to end up selling about 20 units, which means that the number of promos that I want to make per year for my ebook, this is going to happen automatically. This is a function will be five promos per year, meaning over the course of 12 months, I will be creating this exact promo for this book five times, right? And you will see in a second how we plan this out on a calendar. That's number one. The next thing I want to sell is my intro course um, that costs $27. And for this one, just because it's a little bit of a higher price, I actually want to add a VSL here. VSL stands for video sales letter, meaning I'm going to have to go on camera and shoot a video pitching my course. The promotional uh, days for this kind of thing will be approximately five days of promo. And from past experience, this kind of promo will bring me approximately 15 sales, meaning again, I will need to create five different promos of this small course per year right? And I'm just going to quickly run through the rest of them because I think you got the point. In order to sell my $500 course, I will choose to create kind of like a free challenge. In order to promote it, it takes approximately 14 days and I expect to have approximately 25 sales, meaning that I will have two free challenge just per year. Now, in order to sell my flagship course, I will choose to sell it with a webinar. A webinar is usually very effective to sell higher priced things. For promotional days, in order to promote a webinar, it shouldn't take more than five days. And I expect to have approximately 15 sales, meaning that I will have to run this webinar twice a year. And then lastly, in order to sell my coaching package, I will actually need to go on sales calls with people because I never coach anyone without going on sales calls with them to understand who they are and what they do. For promotional days, I don't need more than five days in order to promote my coaching package. And I expect to sell approximately two per promo. So every five days, I will have two sales. That will mean that I will need to promote my coaching package five times this year. So already I have my entire marketing plan for the year broken down. Run again, if you uh, do this for a month, this will be way more easier and shorter. You probably only have like two products or three products. Super, super simple. And number of promos will be like one, <laughs> right? Um, but because I plan for the entire year, this is how it looks like. And now we're going to move on to the final step, which is the most important step, because this is where we literally turn this plan into our boss by understanding exactly what we're going to do every single day in order to make this plan a reality, to make our $100,000 a year a reality. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Gantt or a better word for it will probably be calendar. And let me show you exactly how it looks like. So you're going to go to the tab that's called promotional calendar. And that's how it looks like. And what you will see here is that I have listed out all of the months in the year, according to quarters, all throughout the year. I've already did that for you for 2023. And you will notice that each and every single month already has the days inside, right? So January has 31 days, uh, February has 28 days, etc., etc., etc. And one more thing that you will notice that I added, I didn't add it all throughout the calendar because I wanted to give you space to do this on your own, but I've also incorporated the big holidays, right? New Year's, Valentine's Day, Women's Day, because these are important anchors to create promotions, right? If I own uh, a business that speaks to coaches who are females, Women's Day is a very important day for me, right? Because 
it's kind of like a day that celebrates women. So it makes sense that I will want to run a promotion revolving around this day. It's a great excuse for a promotion, right? Same for, same for Valentine's Day. If you have an e-commerce shop and you sell all kinds of things that could be bought for Valentine's Day, it will make sense to run a promotion through Valentine's Day, right? So let's see what we're doing right now. Right now, the last thing that I have to do is to take every single one of the promotional plans that I have here in my marketing plan and simply put it in my calendar. And let me show you how I do this. So I've already created this to be filled out. So what I did is, let's say that I have my coaching package and a coaching package is a five day promo that I do five times a year, meaning I have to block five days, five different times. And here's how I did it. That's why I put all of these into colors. Coaching package are the yellow ones. So I actually took this and put it in my calendar right here. New Year's uh, is done on the 2nd of January. I plan on starting my promotion five days to sell my coaching package. And then I just went ahead and put, I was like, okay, and here's my, how my thought process works. This is really important. So since I sold my coaching package in January, I'm probably not going to promote it in February. So I put it here on March around Women's Day. And then again, I'm not going to probably promote it on April because it's too close together. I'm going to give people like uh, a month to breathe. And then I'm going to promote it again, five days during May. And same goes to July, et cetera, et cetera, until the end of the year right? This is number one. My calendar is already filled. Next things up is I know that I have my flagship course, which where each and every promotion again takes five days. And I also, and I need two of them in the year. So this is bright orange. So I actually took my flagship course and I decided to put it arbitrarily completely. I just chose a date and I put it there, right? Five days throughout February. And then another day I took a lot of space and I made it around September right? As you can see, there is no like real logic to it. I just decided that this is going to happen in this date, put it on my calendar. And that's how I get shit done. I just decide it's going to happen and this and this date. And then because I know it's there, I start planning for it and I start creating it. And by the time that date on my calendar arrives, it's already here. The promotion is ready. The emails start going into my list and bam, I have sales, just like magic. And I did the same thing for every single other offer that I have. For example, as you can see, the mid tier offer, my course, as you can see, it's probably the longest promotion that I have 14 days and I only have it twice a year. So this blue thing, this bluish turquoise course thingy, I actually put it once in January. I took like a week off after the coaching package because I personally don't like to promote things every single week. I like to give my less time to breathe with some free content, with just some free interaction. And then I have 14 days of promoting my free challenge. And since this is done twice a year, I've also put it right here in October. As you can see, what I did do is I spaced things out right? I don't want to have the same promotion month after month. So I just space things out. But because I already have my marketing plan in place, it's really easy for me to do so, right? And then once it's done, as you can see, I have my plan for the entire year. I know exactly what's happening. I know exactly what's going on. As you can see, I have my small intro offer, which to remind you is the small offer that costs $27. I decided to actually promote it around Black Friday and Cyber Monday a good time for a party, right? A good excuse for a party. Let's put it there. And that's how my marketing calendar gets built. And then essentially, practically, what is happening is that during those days, emails get sent to my list selling this package. And then I have all of those days just send like value emails, relationship emails, blog posts, free content, super cool stuff to kind of like fill in my karma box. I call it like my karma bank, just fill in my karma bank with my list. And then I have Boom, I start selling email. I start sending emails about my free challenge. Hey, I have a free challenge. Hey, I have a free challenge. Hey, I have a free challenge. And again, not every email will be a sales email, obviously. Many of them, in order to sell a coaching package, for example, it's probably going to be like three content emails, kind of like sharing stories and basically setting up the stage to how important coaching really is. And then probably like two hardcore sales emails. Maybe I have like an extra 
sale here at the PS or something like that. You will understand your rhythm and how you like to create campaigns as you go. But that's kind of like how I like to plan my year. And guess what? If by the end of the year, I've actually went ahead and executed on every single one of those campaigns, do you think I'll be able to hit my $100,000? I think so, because I did the work I executed and I never felt overwhelmed because my plan is my boss. So I really, really hope that this video has been helpful for you in understanding exactly how you can reach and make $100,000 in your business this year, next year, every single year, moving forward as your business grows every single year. And I hope that you will see how important it is to kind of like develop the skill set of a real business owner. Please do not allow yourself to remain small and scared of growth. Please push yourself every single year to do more, to change more, because your business will grow in the amount that you do as a person, as you take more responsibility, as you become more consistent, as you will actually do the things that you say you do, you will become the kind of person that earns the kind of money that you want to earn. So with that being said, I hope that you had a good time with me planning your business this year. If you have any business plan to share with me, please simply send me a DM on Instagram or wherever it is on YouTube. You can comment on this video. This video is on YouTube as well. I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, yalla bye.